It was an icy day on the island of Sodor. The engines were working very hard. They didn't mind the cold because they had toasted hot fire box sticks to keep them warm. That evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. He said, they said eagerly, and Sir Topham Hatt drove away. Tease Thomas. Percy whistled nervously. Sniffed James. Tease Thomas, said James. James knew Jack Frost wasn't scary, but poor Percy wasn't so sure. Percy shivered. Meanwhile, James puffed along his route. He thought. Percy made his last delivery. The station master was very pleased to see him. He cried. Percy said. So Percy's driver parked him in a signing with only a lantern for company, said Percy. Chuckled his driver. And then his driver and fireman went home to bed. Late at night, the icy wind howled. It started to snow. Soon, Percy's face was so cold, an icicle hung from his nose. Percy stuttered, but it didn't sound like Percy. It was so cold, he could hardly make a sound. At last, James was on his way back to the sheds. In the fog, he saw shadows and strange and scary shapes. He whispered nervously. Murmured Percy icily, cried James, and he raced away as fast as his wheels could carry him. He didn't stop till he got back to the sheds. The next morning, Elizabeth brought plenty of coal. Elizabeth chuffed to Percy. The fire liar started Percy's fire. Soon, his ice mask melted away, tooted Percy happily, and soon he was as warm as toast. When Percy arrived at the sheds, James was bragging to the other engines. James huffed, teased Percy, and all the engines whistled, including James, but Percy's was the loudest whistle of all.